Hello everyone, welcome back to Fastback Racing. My name is Jason and this is part 31 of Forza Horizon 4 and we got a wheel spin. So we'll start out with a wheel spin. Let's see if we get something good. Okay. 10,000 extra credit. Alright, so... Turn around when it is safe to do so. So we're going to go continue the British Green Cars storyline. We've just got two more chapters and then we'll uh, go do something else. You have arrived at your destination. done but we saved the good stuff for last a spot of rallying in the most british car of them all get in strap in and let's nail this one there is one car built in great britain that is quite fairly Whoa. considered one of the most influential cars of the century in 200 yards turn left Turn left. It's a surprisingly spacious little city car with a side-mounted engine. It's an icon of popular culture. It's been built on every continent where there's a car factory. It's the Mini. The Mini Cooper S was built to be a performance machine with deeper engines, twin carburettors and front disc brakes this scrappy little machine would go on to achieve more than 30 racing victories in the 1960s and 1970s. A Mini Cooper S flying number 37 placed first at the 1964 Monte Carlo Rally. Driven by Paddy Hopker and Henry Lydon, this was the last time all British crew would win the event. But not the last time a Mini would. At Monte Carlo in 1966, Minis took the first second and third positions ah, they were all this thing is because they had hard to headlines. control not because they were winning everything in sight in 1999 the car of the century award was presented to the most influential car of the 20th century the mini came second it was beaten by the model t ford that's fair i suppose it is Three million minis would be sold, making it the most popular British car. And then in 2000, BMW resumed production of the Mini, breathing new life into the iconic mark. If the Mini of the 1960s had its sights set on the roads of Monte Carlo, the X-Raid Countryman has its eyes on something a little tougher. The deserts and rough terrain of the Dakar, for starters. A wit once said that the only thing mini in this monster was the pedal. That's rather missing the point, I think. The X-Raid Countryman is much, much bigger than the Mini Cooper. It has to be. The stage of the Dakar demands literally tons of gear. You could call it a tank. It does rather sound like one. division set out to build this thing they had one goal in mind winning the dakar and they did every year from 2012 to 2015 in 400 yards turn right 
designed to be driven for two weeks over deserts and badlands, five kilometers above sea level. And it still handles like a hot hatch on a nice bit of dry edge. Owners come and go. I completed it. I don't know if I got three like stars or not. more than who owns the keys to the shop. I think I, I did. I expect to see Minnie's wings flying for another century. No, I got two stars. That's fine. Next chapter. British racing green jacket. So I think we're on the last chapter. Ooh, this Bentley. is quite the story. Bedley at Le Mans in the 1930s. Gentleman racers, heroic driving, and a personal hero of mine. Take good care of the cars though. Both of them are mine. Bentley. A company founded in 1919 in Cricklewood, North London, and purchased by Rolls-Royce in the 30s. A company synonymous with both racing and luxury. Perhaps the best example I know of those two extremes of British engineering. For almost a century, every Bentley was hand-built to exacting standards. So at the beginning of the 21st century, when Bentley revealed their first mass-produced car, there were a great many questions. The car was the Continental GT, an elegant grand tourer that combined a racetrack pedigree with exquisite style and all the power you could need. move to mass production has done nothing to blunt the Bentley experience. The 2017 Continental Supersport is responsive, fast, and beautifully designed. together all-wheel drive, carbon fiber bonnet sides and side skirts to create the most powerful performance focused car the company has ever built. pedigree is racing and the Bentley Continental embraces that. In 2007 a largely standard Continental Speed GT broke Bugatti's record for the flying kilometer on the frozen Baltic Sea. And then in 2011 they broke their own record. 205 miles an hour both ways on ice. Even when building these gorgeous Grand Tourers, Bentley is driven to excellence. means modern, peerless luxury and elegance. But that's far from the full story. A century ago, Bentley meant something else entirely. It meant Le Mans. In 1930, eccentric race team owner Dorothy Paget financed a rather special Bentley at the Le Mans. It was a 4.5 litre supercharged masterpiece driven by Sir Henry Bentley Boy Birkin. It posted the fastest time on the day, but it failed to finish. But what a race it was. 
Sir Henry's courageous driving forced Rudolf Caracciola's seven-litre Mercedes out of the race at the cost of his own victory. But in doing so, he handed the day to the Bentley Sixes, a gentleman racer indeed. Sir Henry knew he didn't have anything to prove. In 1929, the adventurer Mrs. Mary Victor Bruce had already driven the resolutely modern 4.5 litre Bentley at Montlahy, setting distance, speed and endurance records. I don't think I'm going to get the three stars. The Bentley's performance so annoyed Ettore Bugatti that he called it the world's fastest lorry. Come on. The blower had the last laugh though. In 2012, it was sold at auction for over four million pounds, which is more than enough to buy a Veyron and a racing truck, if you're keeping score. Like I told them, can't make a film about car culture around here without you in it, can they? I'll let you know if they need you back. Okay. So, we completed that one. There is the train. We can go... Do that. Let's go do that.
100 yards. Turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. yards. Turn right. Turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. In 400 yards, turn sharp left. Oh no, <laughs> not a slow call. Lions <laughs> got swimming. Nine and three quarters. Harry Potter reference. Is this 
we go. Time to fly. Oh! That wasn't a very good landing. and three quarters complete. Ooh, I got a super spin unlocked. Awesome. At least we got some credits. World's fastest rentals. I guess we can start on the world's fastest rentals. Yards. Turn right. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. In 400 yards, Turn left. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Now I know that this investment might look like a lot, but it's worth it, trust me. Every business you buy will give you a daily payout of their earnings, so there's a nice incentive for you. Okay. This is the perfect location, yeah? It's gonna make us a mint. I've got a waiting list of clients already, but I think we should try out all the cars first. Do you agree? Good decision, good decision. You and me, we're going to show everyone what world's fastest really means. What do you think? So, we've got the premises, I've got the contacts, and you've got... Well, you've got a few minutes to kill before our first client arrives. 2013 Lamborghini Veneno. Take the keys and show Horizon what it can do. I want them all talking about us. I want the punters to know that when we say world's fastest, we mean it. Just a quick run out to Glen Rannock. Oh, and our first client's on the way, remember? Better step on it.
await the second exit. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it to the destination. Whoa! Definitely not going to get three stars now. I just want to see how many chapters. I think it's a 10, right? Ooh. All right, next chapter. Unbelievable drive last time. My phone won't stop ringing. This one's going to be even better. Just one thing. Did you bring sunglasses? Never mind, never mind. Koenigsegg 1-1. One, one. one horsepower for every kilo it weighs. Only the Swedish could come up with something so simple and so completely wild. Head for Bambra Castle. There's a nice straight down there where you can really open it up. Here we 
got a wheel spin. All right. Let's go do that wheel spin. Yes, got the credit. We either do one or two more chapters, and then I'll end the this part. Remember, I said I'd get Ferrari in. I thought you could duck out for a drive in the country. You know, see how fast it goes. And it's a 2014 FXXK, so probably pretty fast. Light it up. This thing accelerates like you won't believe. In 100 yards, turn right. Oh, man. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Oh, Let's retry and <laughs> light it up. This thing accelerates like you won't believe. Turn right. I know I can go I know I can go faster but I'm trying to keep it or I can there complete it, it. Is. there we go knew you could do it now relax breathe and call me when you're ready for the next client I think I got another will spin so We'll go do that and then... I think I have that one. I think, I'm not sure. Find out. I 
Oh, I got a, okay, I got a 98 and a 2004. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna, uh, in part 30, I think it's part 31 here. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.